Welcome to our lecture online. There's nothing like an example to get a better understanding of what something is, such as a volume integral. So let's do a rather simple example. Here we have a volume. It has a triangular base, a height of three units. It goes out one unit in the x direction, one unit in the y direction. This is our volume. We're going to integrate this function right here. It's defined in x, y, and z. And we're going to integrate it as a volume integral. See what that looks like. So that means we're going to do a triple integral of the function x, y, z squared multiplied times the dv, which can be defined as dx, dy, and dz. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the following. This can be written as the integral of uh, z squared dz times the integral of y dy times the integral of x dx. So we separate the variables like that, do one variable at a time. Now, what are the limits for the x integration? Notice that we're going to integrate uh, a first in the x direction. So we're gonna have a small little element that goes like this. We're gonna integrate it in this uh, direction. Actually, we're gonna have a small little dx like that. We're gonna integrate it across here from x equals zero to, well, to that line right here. We're not going to integrate it from zero to one. And this line can be defined as, if you think about this as a two-dimensional straight line, we can say that y is equal to the y-intercept, which is one, plus the slope, which would be, well, in this case, the slope will be negative one, so it would be minus x. So y is uh, one minus x, or x is equal to one minus y. So notice, that what we can do here is we can have limits from x equals 0 to x equals 1 minus y. And that way we're integrating from here to that line right there because we're not integrating from 0 to 1. So when we plug in the limit, we have the 1 half, it goes to the front, so this is equal to 1 half times the integral of z squared dz times the integral of y, well, let's see here, y times dy and then we have to multiply that times 1 minus y quantity squared, like this. Plug in the lower limit, we get 0, so just the upper limit like that. And so we have 1 half times the integral of z squared dz times the integral of. So here we get y squared times y, which gives us y cubed minus 2y times y gives me minus 2y squared and a plus plus one times y gives me plus y, and the whole thing times dy. And now we're ready to integrate over dy. Now this time, dy, we integrate from zero to one. And so from zero to one are going to be the limits for that. So let's integrate. So this is equal to one half times the integral of z squared dz, times, here we get y to the fourth over four, minus two y cubed over three, plus y squared over 2, evaluated from 0 to 1. All right, when we do that, we get the following. This is equal to 1 half times the integral of z squared dz. So that's the same as what we have over here. And then here, plug in the lower limit. Again, we get 0. Plug in the upper limit. We get 1 fourth minus 2 thirds and plus 1 half. Putting all that over a common denominator, that is equal to 1 half times the integral of z squared dz times over 12 as the common denominator. 4 goes into 12 3 times, minus 3 goes into 12 4 times, times the negative 2 is minus 8, this is a 3, and 2 goes into 12 6 times, so plus 6. 9 minus 8 is 1. So we end up at 1 12 times 1 half, which is 1 over 24. So now let's come up here. So we have 1 over 24 times the integral of z squared dz. And those limits go from 0 to 3 because the height of the volume is 3 in the z direction. So now we can integrate that. This is equal to 1 over 24 times z cubed over 3 evaluated from 0 to 3. So that's equal to 1 over 24 times 27 over 3, which is equal to 1 over 24 times 9, 
which is equal to 9 over 24. Now they're both divisible by 3, so this is equal to 3 over 8, and that is the value we get when we do the volume integral of that particular function, x, y, z squared, over the volume as is given. And that is how it's done. Finally got it right? Finally got it right. <laughs> and that's all we got.